basketball fans welcome back so the nairobi city thunder were on, on an absolute tear this weekend and they did not disappoint so the city thunder two loud living opponents ducking in fear <laughs> citizen citizen digital what are you doing here so the nairobi city thunder head coach brad Aves has hailed his boys for their stellar performance over the weekend after getting away with a win in eldorado as they as they maintained their unbeaten run in the kenya men's basketball premier league so the thunder struck down the eldonets the eldonets platinum 91 58 at the was in gishu grounds in eldorado to take at to their total tally to 26 points after 13 matches winning all their matches and sitting at the top so brad ibs he was quoted as saying we were very happy to get out of that game with a win we know eldorado has historically been a challenging place to play and they have had a great basketball loving family fan base and this really passionate and this really passionate for their team so and that is really passionate for their team so brad ibs said that so at the same time the tactician who joined the shorimoyo based team at the start of the season attributed their win to playing good defense and offense so defensive effort was really good and we played a casual style of basketball in an attempt to get points some points out of our defense defense which i think we did on the on outdoor court surprisingly we made nice shots i don't know how many free throws we made but we made enough to keep our offenses offense from that game flowing we also got a chance to get many players playing time which we were really happy about so brad ibs and the nairobi city thunder they're just cruising at this point they have beaten every single team in the men's division and right now i don't think there's any other team that can be able to take them down and their true test even in a previous video that i made there's levels when it comes to winning because right now currently in the second leg i don't think there's any team that can be able to like beat the nairobi city thunder right now and looking at like the trajectory and and the way they have been playing they are much of more of a they're much more of a cohesive unit and looking at how the league is going i know the second the second uh, leg games uh some of them are going to be quite challenging especially with them being in nairobi but the true test for the nairobi City thunder is what they're going to do when they win it can they be able to win it all and can they be able to like make some serious noise in this year's road to ball so elsewhere the equity doomers the Kudidumas Hawks team manager Zadok is impressed with the team's performance after getting double wins in Eldorado with both the Hawks and the Dumas winning the men's and women's team respectively, respectively on Sunday at the Nile Gymnasium. So the Equity Hawks hammered the Eldonets 86-55 while the Equity Dumas hammered the Eldorado team 79-43. So it's funny the way citizen digital are reporting because i remember the game against the eldonis team you know the that that one that one right there i just knew for a fact that the equity hawks are just going to do they both the equity hawks and dumas are going to win that so the ladies team was impressive we managed to control the game from start to the end while the men's team was down at the end of the first quarter but we managed to catch up with the remaining quarters they have some new players whom we were meeting for the first time, but we managed them. So Adika, he came out and said that. And also, the, the recent acquisition of Eugene Adler and Nico Gall, this is something that came as a blockbuster because I didn't even expect uh, Eugene to leave KP. I'm not sure what that, that one happened. Might make a video about that one. But the equity doomers right now, they're trying to make some moves to be able to salvage their season and to be able to maintain their top four because right now as we speak they don't look as threatening as they did last year but the, the addition of adara and nico gold maybe that one can change but we have to see that we'll see how many times and how uh, their plays are going to be run through those two guys and how they're going to mesh with the team is something that will determine if they're going to be successful or not so we tried out some of the new signings and they were impressive including our national team players who had returned from their international assignments such as Bosire. we hope the second leg will be much better the team 
has gelled up. We are now becoming much more, more we are becoming more compact as a team as a team. And you hope by the time we reach the playoffs we'll have a much more formidable team. So Adika concluded. So there's your there's your article. Uh, I said there, there are levels when it comes to winning. Because the true test for teams right now, especially the top four teams, can the Nairobi City Thunder go ahead with their winning streak, win in the in in the KBF League, win it all, and also go ahead and challenge and make it past the Elite 16 and be able to notch either a first, second, or third spot, the same way as the Dynamo team did, because that's the whole objective. Right now, I don't think the Nairobi City Thunder are looking at you know, just winning the KBF League because they have made a lot of investment. They have used a lot of money and they've used a lot of resources to be able to get to where they are. I don't think just winning the league is going to cut it because, I mean, KP have done it. KP have spent all that money, won the league, but when it came to Road to Ball and it mattered, uh, they failed. But now I don't think the Nairobi City Thunder are looking towards going that KP route because KP has had three shots to be able to redeem themselves in road to ball and they failed so the nrb city thunder just primed for that position because they have a better players they have a deeper bench considering the fact that they give give six players to the national team and they're still able to be a formidable force locally as they were able to beat umoja in that weekend where the kenyan runs were beat to were, were getting blown out by angola they're getting blown out of tunisia by angola so all i'm just saying is the nrb city thunder are just that team when it comes to the equity Dumas, really, they don't look like a threat. I don't think that they have what it takes to win it all. We already saw what happened when they played KPA. They cracked under the pressure. And that move by Eugene, I don't think it's a career. It's a good career move. Should have just stayed with KPA or should have just waited out to the offseason so he can just look to enter either the RBC Thunder or another team. But this uh, move... This tactical move that he made, I'm not sure with it. But anyway, it is what it is. So even the equity hawks, going even to the equity hawks, you could see they just con they just stretch their dominance. And their true test is can they be able to can they be able to like win games consistently at zone five? And if they match up against teams in the Africa Women's Basketball League, can they, they be able to compete well? Because we already saw what the Equity Hawks did in the Africa Women's Basketball League. It wasn't as impressive. It was actually a very poor performance. Out of seven games, they only won three. So there's a lot of question marks in terms of uh, what they can do. Number one, their roster. They have so many old players in there. They have players who've played in the national team previously and also currently. And honestly, if you ask me, they're not, they're not a team that you can look at and, you, and you, they're not a team that has what it takes to be able to like win at that next level. So it is what it is. You, can't call, you cannot compare the Equity Hawks to the KPA Dockers, the women's team, because KPA, they finished number two. But if you look at that game closely, if you look at that whole uh, that whole uh, tournament closely, the only team that they couldn't beat was the A Sporting. So as much as the women's division you can see the equity hawks and kpo dockers and ztech are dominating we just know for a fact that the women's division is very weak and the women's division runs, just runs through kpa equity and ztech so that's all i got for you guys so do let me know what you think in the comment section what you think about this whole video i mean i've i've talked a lot of about a lot of things right now but i will be just coming up and just talking about these articles when i see them so I'll also leave the link to this article in the description box. So if you guys like this video, make sure you leave your feedback down in the comments. And um, I'm out. Peace.